spoiler alert, your Alaska trip, if you ever want to go on one, is going to be about your expectations. Yes. The beautiful drone shots of people hiking through the snow, polar bears and glaciers and penguins. and and, and, I may be talking about Antarctica. (laughs) That's Canada. Welcome, families, to the K-City Family Show. I am one of your hosts, Dad City. Would you I like to introduce yourself? Host. Hello, I am Mom City. They call her Mom City. And I am Ava. And? I'm another host, and I'm Beck. Yes, we are K-City Family, and we've been on YouTube making content for about eight years. And this podcast is about our family connection, what we do for fun, how we connect as a family, our travels, and some behind-the-scenes wow. stories. Behind- Today, we're talking about our awesome, amazing disaster. This is part two of our behind the scenes stories about our series that we did, the most expensive series we've ever produced on YouTube. If you want to find out the cost, listen to our first part. We revealed how much we spent, how much we made back on our season one of Awesome Amazing America, traveling around, uh, talking about the nation's history, talking about uh, learning and doing a scavenger hunt that was sent in by our viewers. So that uh, is on Awesome Amazing America, the full story. That's the last podcast episode. But this one is specifically a little bit about season two, some of the stops we made, and more specifically, our trip to Alaska that went completely we horribly wrong. Yes. wrong. <laughs> so, Beck, I'm going to ask you and Ava and you too. Since we're talking about Alaska, which is a cold climate, and we are in a cold climate right, right now. now, we've had a couple of days of freeze in Texas. It snowed yesterday. It freeze. did snow yesterday, and it's miserable cold. What? Like, when you, we're having a double layer, we're not used to that in Texas. Our pool is freezing over which I don't really care. That's another story. If that (laughs) pool grew wings and flew away We would say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's another another story for another day. because the pool is so weak and it's so bad. It's weak-minded, okay? (laughs) It's just so bad. It's got so many cracks. It leaks everywhere, and we're just going to rip it out and put a brand new window in. And it's going to have a slide, a cave, even a splash pad for our baby cousins. Wonderful. Our pool and our house last year started cracking into. We're pretty sure that we built our house on top of a water reservoir of some sort, and we have unlimited water in the backyard, which is causing the soil to expand and break things. So that's not good, but that's a completely different story. There's no reason to talk about that right now. Alaska. I want to know, since we're in our cold climate and we're talking about Alaska, family, do you prefer cold or hot, hot weather. Hot, 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 because there's more animals out. You can swim, and it's just relaxing. You can go outside, but you like to be outside. Yes. Yes. I'm an outside woman. Outside I'm not a woman. Girl. I am we also need to touch an outside the- woman. <laughs> <laughs> Beck? I choose cold. You choose cold. Why? Because he likes to be inside. Shut, 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 shut. It's my you. answer, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> You like the cold. I like the cold because I live in Texas. In summer, it gets to almost 110 on a daily basis. I don't care. In in fall, it's 80 degrees. I'll just go out in my swimsuit and be like, ah. It's 80 degrees in October. October. Yes. Never goes out. My answer is definitely I would prefer hot weather. Yeah. I would prefer I am hot a weather warm too. climate person. I like the idea of cold weather and wearing sweaters and sweatshirts. bundling up and all sweatshirts. that. But when you have <laughs> She looks great in a sweater. But when you have um You also look good never multiple <laughs> days in a of swimsuit, a bikini. Super cold weather, I realize <laughs> I'm not up for it. Yeah. I would prefer 100 degrees. I'm one of those people that when it's super hot, I'm like, I can't wait for Christmas. And right now, I if I if it never reached 40 <laughs> degrees again, I'd be happy. You can only handle it for like two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. He's ready for March already. I am ready for March. We've got to get through. I'm super ready for spring. I feel like we're in Feb- February, like right on the cusp of it being warm. And it's not the case. We've got another month and a half. Mm-hmm. But I'm really excited for spring this year. Yeah. But I was super done. For some reason, I was done with the fall and, and Christmas and everything fall. real quick. I yeah, love fall. we already have our Christmas 
Christmas decorations. The only tree we have in this house now, the beautiful tree. Let me tell you what in I... In the Christmas spot. Let's put some ornaments on it. Okay. Let me, let me tell you why. It, it's more about sunlight to me. I don't like the gray days. When it's gray, I'm not happy. Really? When it's sunny, I'm fine. So I need the sun to come out. If you can have a sunny snow day or a sunny cold day, yeah. I'm good. Well, we but have a sunny cold day today. it's the miserable grayness. Yeah. Hey, guys, let's talk about Alaska. Alaska was a trip yes, it that was. originated years ago. Really? Let me tell you where it originated. Do you remember our Disney cruise that we went on? 2017. 2017. We went on the best so Disney cool. cruise. And at the end of that Disney cruise, we all played their jackpot bingo. Oh. And we were with cousins. And while we were playing jackpot cruise, bingo, I think the buddies. prize was like $15,000. That's a lot of money. And while we were playing, our cousins basically made us sign in blood that if we won that jackpot, we would go on Alaska cruise. That's where we got to be. We got to be on We're Alaska gonna go cruise. We're going to go book an Alaskan cruise right and, now. Yeah. And we, we'd never really considered an Alaskan cruise, but we in our minds, seven. that became like the ultimate destination. <laughs> like that's, that's where, that's the really cool cruise. Yeah. Because we've never been there. Never, never been, been there. there. But we've gone on Disney cruise 14 times. So Ava, we're like, twice. what's no. your expectations of a, an Alaskan trip? What do you consider to be your expectations of Alaska trip? I just love that cruise. I want to go on it so no, many what, times. No, what, what did you expect what it did to you be like to do? I expected it to be like not that like, not like free food all the time. You just walk in. There's so many good desserts. You're, ex- <laughs> whoa, whoa. You're talking, You're talking about, about the cruise. cruise. Shit. I want to know what you about think about Alaska. Alaska. What's your, uh, what's your, your mental... Uh, uh, I thought it was going to be... Uh, I thought it was just going to be not that many people there because I would think that a cold place was not a, like a people area, like mm-hmm. a always cold place. So okay. I thought there wasn't going to be like crowds. I was like, this is fine. But there were like 15,000 people there. And On I was the cruise like, ship? Wow. No, Almost. No, not the cruise ship. Not where we the, hiked. Yeah, where in, we in the hiked. Towns. In the towns and stuff. In the towns, but yeah. What was your concept of Alaska going into this well, trip? Well, you would see wildlife and you would go hiking see beautiful sights and like maybe look at some glacier snow we didn't see any of that what (laughs) spoiler alert listen listen uh your alaska trip if you ever (laughs) want to go on one is going to be about your expectations yes and many people's expectations of alaska is based on the discovery channel (laughs) documentaries, BBC America, the (laughs) beautiful drone shots of people hiking through the snow, polar bears and glaciers and penguins and and grizzlies and trouts. I may be talking about Antarctica. (laughs) (laughs) That's Canada. I would think it would be like herd of elk, bears, grizzly bears, trout, salmon, trout, uh, lakes, rivers, snow. I'm talking about Canada right now. I don't know why I'm talking about Canada right now. Listen. But I am. We had a certain expectation going into this trip. Mm-hmm. We thought that it was going to be rugged, outdoorsy. We were going to see a bunch of different Animal. wild animals, animals that we don't get to see in Texas. We the really? terrain. We've set the scene of what we expected on this Alaskan cruise. Mm-hmm. Why don't you start us off on what? It was in reality. Okay. So we decided that the best way to capture Alaska was to go on to multiple stops. Yeah. And so the best, most affordable way to do that was going to be via a Royal Caribbean cruise. We had done the Disney cruise. Mm -hmm. We decided to do something that was... More. According to the marketing materials, a little more friendly for older kids. We've done Star Wars Day and in, in Marvel Day on Disney Cruise, yeah. which we loved. Yeah, Disney Cruise is awesome. We just wanted to experience a different cruise line. Royal Caribbean's marketing is like big slides, big like roller coasters, yeah. and like the whole thing is is colorful and it's a party. Well, they don't send that ship to Alaska. No, mm-hmm. no, no, no. Because. It's so cold mm-hmm. that everyone goes indoors. Yep. Nobody is out on the deck. Nobody is doing 
the pool, nobody's doing the, the parties squads. outside. It's too cold for that. So everybody is indoors. So we decided to go on a cruise and get to Alaska via ship. Yes, we did. Yep. So our expectations were that we would be able to experience very family friendly excursions. Like mm -hmm. we could, you could set up the excursions through the ship. We decided to go in Skagway to do a train ride, mm -hmm. see the countryside, mm -hmm. end up at a gold panning mining site where yep. they were going to teach us to pan for gold. We were going to do dog sledding. We were yes. going to go to the Mendenhall Glacier via helicopter. 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 Via helicopter. Go dog sledding. And before we ever got on the ship, Skagway, Skagway's gone. Skagway's gone. Landslide. Port's gone. Giant rocks fell on the port where the ship was supposed to dock. And gone. that whole stop got rerouted to something else. And we're waiting patiently to find out where it was rerouted to. Mm -hmm. And what options we have for what doing options things. We, they sent us to, to Icy Strait Point, which had more hiking. We had four, four stops, basically. Mm -hmm. And because we decided these two big excursions, we banked on these two big excursions, so we didn't plan anything else on the other excursions mm -hmm. because we were banking on these, right? Yes. Um, so those we planned on doing free days. And yeah. this is in July, so it's very good hiking weather. Mild. Mm -hmm. mild, mild temperatures. It's like 60 degrees. Everyone says this is the time to go to Alaska. Perfect. Mid-July. 50, 60 degrees. That's Perfect. Right. So on the first stop, we went hiking. We did. Sitka. And so why you, the reason you said more hiking is because we didn't plan anything on that first day. We were banking on second day to be train ride, and it got routed to Icy Straight Point. Icy Straight Point. Which had a gondola. Which was cool. Yeah. And hiking. Yes. And so it also had, we understood it to be free hiking. Like just go explore, maybe through, run into a bear. Yeah, you meander through the meadow. It's a quarter mile or a half mile loop that you can hike. What did, and how did you prepare for this hike, hon? Um, <laughs> I searched all over, uh -huh. and luckily I found some at Academy, but everyone suggested that you get a can of bear spray, which is basically like... Pepper spray. Pepper spray on steroids. <laughs> okay. What's steroids? We'll something get to that, that makes later. you... <laughs> something that's... It's performance-enhancing drug. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> So it's just, it's more, more potent than explain what. Explain to me, explain to me if a bear is running at you, <laughs> you're supposed what to, your you're action supposed is going to, to be. <laughs> you're supposed to, it's in this thing, you gotta unclip it and have this thing and you're supposed to spray it at Step them. one, remove tag. Yeah, remove this <laughs> thing. <No! laughs> well, I wasn't going to do it. It was you or Drew because I was not going to have that on me. That's right. Well. Needless to say, we did not encounter any, a single bear. We didn't even see a bear. <laughs> That the problem with that, we were gonna ride this gondola up the mountain mm -hmm. and just go free hiking. Yes, it was more touristy than that. Yeah, yeah. And it they was put us. A Ninety-year-old man that wanted to do a dance uh, for uh, like from this. It's just an Alaskan movie. tradition. It's an Alaskan tradition. A movie, and it was like a. You're gonna demonstrate for us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was the highlight of the the whole excursion. But y'all need to understand that he's sharing the Alaskan. Okay, thank you. That's enough. Ava. We need to understand that that is he was sharing some of the Alaskan culture of the uh, yes. indigenous people there. Yes. But we were not expecting that to be what our hike was. And that was over. That was it. So we, we saw a little bit of trees. Uh, we saw this old man dance. And then we went back. And, and we saw one deer. deer. Oh, two yeah. deer on and the way we back. We didn't see two deer. It, okay, a baby animal. We saw what, more animals at the ranch than we did in Alaska. What mm -hmm. other wildlife did we see on our trip, Eva? We saw two slugs that we tortured. Uh huh. That would be the children, not that the adults. You tortured. You tortured. No, you turned it over. I didn't do that. It was you. No. But what else? Just to let you know, we turned it back over so it could go did on its we, merry way. Did we? Yes. Okay, go yes, ahead. Um, and then we saw uh, a white slug and an army slug. Uh huh. We saw two deer, a mama and a baby. A mama. Okay. Mm, baby, mama. What else? <laughs> uh, we saw a single otter. A single one otter. One goat. Uno. Mm -hmm. One goat on the on mountain. mountain. 
Instagram. What else did y'all see? Oh, we saw <laughs> eagle airplanes. We saw <laughs> we saw a metal birds. Saw, we saw thousands of bird uh, seagulls. Yeah, um, but there's one particular bird I, that they have eagle. a lot of there. Eagles. eagles. We saw a bald eagle. A bald eagle. Let's talk about the ship a little bit more. Okay. okay. I love their moose cakes. There. They're um, moose, so good. They're like cakes. chocolate moose cakes. They're Things so have changed good. since the pa- pandemic. Yeah, that's because we the first we kind of we enjoy the after. dining experience. And after night one, I'm pretty sure it took us one night to just move to the cafe. Two. It yes, yeah. two. we did not because I had a crab cake and like some something. We only went to the dining room one night. It was the first night. Yeah. Then we decided and then we, we're not doing this again. We figured out they're serving the same thing, and we can go at any any point. For, on the cafe, so to we where you ate just get, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in yeah. the same place. Yes, and I had a burger. Two thirds of the different time, different things for breakfast. There was cereal. There was bacon, boiled eggs, so many different things. Jelly. There were uh, bagels. <laughs> there was um, sixty-seven percent of the time I ate a burger. I know. That okay, was a, the food was I, fine. The food is fine. Okay, but this is the first cruise that I've been on with a buffet of things to mm-hmm. eat since I've gone dairy free. I, I'm dairy sensitive, not allergic, so I can eat, I won't die. Uh, but there's gonna be problems for everybody if I accidentally get into contact with some dairy, okay? Yeah. But it's there were like- moments that I had to cut out of this, and I've got the footage of it, where I got stuck in elevators with people after <laughs> accidentally having some oh, sort yeah. of dairy. So- and everybody's looking at me like, was that you? Was that you? And I'm like holding my breath and just w- pleading with the <laughs> Lord to open these doors to this elevator so I can get out. And as soon as we get out, everybody's like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, so our cousin went, um, it, um, she went, um, who farted yeah. loudly in the <laughs> elevator? And then I went like this to death. Yeah. And he went, and then when we got out of the elevator, I was like, was that you? And he was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had some dairy problems on this cruise. So. <laughs> what the? <laughs> All right. What about the entertainment on the ship? Um, we did get involved oh, no. in a Go. show that was called Starwater. That was supposed to be family oh friendly. Oh, there no. was no warnings or anything like that on the show. And we had to get PG up and 13. leave the, on Starwater. It was beyond PG-13, baby. It was, Rated R. It was an exploration of the human emotions. It was and, a lot of romance and taking off clothes. Yes. When love, when the human emotion of love came out, we, <laughs> we had to said, get up. Let's go quickly. Quickly. Yeah. They were taking off their like, dresses and they had underclothes on. And it was like. There was a lot of underclothes. You could see their thighs. Ooh. <laughs> and then um, our cousins started saying that was spicy. That was spicy <laughs> meat. We walked out and said that was a spicy meatball. That's for sure. Yeah. So for sure. I so, will say, yes. I, I'm, I'm dogging Royal Caribbean, and I've told them all of this with no customer service response. Yeah, you about, sent them an email. Well, here's my, here's my big deal. Here's why I emailed Royal Caribbean. Uh-oh. <laughs> here we go <laughs> on their marketing materials be here all. and essential to a cruise an enjoyable cruise is a great kids area <laughs> that kids want to, to go, go to, to. Want. if the kids do not want to go to the kids area then you are stuck with zero relaxation time Ava, so, um, what did you, what did you, th- just describe the kids area to me. It had science rooms when we walked in there. It had uh, science rooms, history rooms, so many different rooms. It did have those rooms? Uh-huh. Okay. And then like, and then when we got to the kids area, we went in. Uh, it- Most of those things were shut down and locked. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So what did you, what did, we what went- did you experience in the kids area? We went in. They played this game we had to make, like, with Jenga blocks. We had to make castles, and then uh, we had to roll a dice. And if it was, uh, there were weird kids in there, just weird kids. Okay, so when we came weird to pick you up. kids. When we came to pick you up from your your um, trial <gasps> run yeah, of the place. Me and Oakland came out like we're never going there again. No. 
I never saw any science rooms. I never saw any any anything like that. When we came, you were coloring, doing a coloring sheet. You asked never to go again, and it looked like they had put you in some sort of medical laboratory. <laughs> no color on the walls. It was not it was not good. Not okay. Yeah. But Again, they were, but expectation they were, versus reality was not met. Marketing materials need to be updated. And the thing is, is they're not going to send the most kid-friendly thing uh, ship to Alaska. That is true. They're going to send the old people cruise to Alaska. Yeah. And that's what we got. There was a lot of old people parties. Lot, there was a Golden Girls trivia night, mm. What's a Golden which Almost I would, actually would, would have had a lot of fun on. Yeah. Um, so that caused us then to have limited activities for the kids, which turned out to be rock climbing in the wind and cold. <laughs> and we watched you guys rock climb Lots. probably 70 times. Lots. It was the same thing over and over. Where do we go to next on? After I see straight yeah. point, we... Did yeah. the Endicott Arms Glaciers, which basically you have to wake up at 5 a.m. to yeah. look. And they take you up the Fajord. That, that's how you prove That's how you, you did not up put it. You're up. looking at glaciers and trying to see wildlife on the mountains, and they turn around and you go back out. We did start hearing the guy above us yell that there was a mountain goat. And a we bear. Could, he saw a bear. No, he didn't see a bear. He it says was a he mountain did. goat. It was a mountain goat. Okay, but when he said there's a mountain goat, it looked like. A little bit of dust on the camera lens. It <laughs> That's was how like far away tiny. It was. So we, we did that early in the morning, and <laughs> which then, was beautiful. Yes, it was. And then um, that day we ended up in Juneau, Alaska, where we had our epic excursion planned. In hindsight, I sh probably should have not told you about the helicopter mm -hmm. until I talked to the attendant. So here's what happened: we woke up that morning, we went out to Juneau. And expected this grand adventure. Mm -hmm. And you can see our expectations on our Alaska episode. I which waited is, so many days for this. I was so excited for this. Day. You guys knew about the dog sledding, but you didn't know about the helicopter. Yeah. So when we woke up, it was a little overcast. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a gray winter day. Yeah. Which I'm assuming is quite often Normal. And quite common in Alaska. They, they, Alaska. they said it's normal, like 300 out of 365 days. It's like that. Okay. Well, 300 out of 365 days, then people are getting their excursions canceled because <laughs> when we went up to the excursion thing, they were like, mm, "You're not going on a helicopter today." Cloud coverage. They canceled it because, because it was of cloudy. Some precipitation. I they had in the video. Uh, it wasn't no. even that cloudy. They said that the they could not take the helicopter up because of the clouds. They, Ava, they said they ruined. Uh, so pretty much. Uh, we had to bleep out a word I said because it was. Uh, you were very I was frustrated, very mad. So I just said it. Yeah, and for the record, you told me that you learned that word from me. You did not. No, you she learned, learned that word from movies, movies that, that you've you seen that I her. showed you where I didn't realize it was in there. <laughs> right? Maybe Back to the Future, The Black Goonies. Goonies. It's those eighties movies, guys. They are not kid friendly. Like kids, Teen kid, Wolf. Kids had filthy mouths in the eighties for sure. <laughs> so they canceled the big excursion for us because of some mm -hmm. precipitation that had clumped up in the sky. Yes. That makes my head hurt. So. We were very upset, and I'm going to say this again. I said this on the last podcast about our season two. It's all about, number one, expectations, but it's also we're, we're not just on a family trip. We're on a business investment because we're making content. Yes. So we have invested months of planning into this. We have seen ahead, and this was actually supposed to be the grand finale of Awesome Amazing America. Yeah. We were going to go to Alaska. It was going to be the most epic trip in the world. And we, I mean, a trip like this costs Money. thousands and thousands of dollars. And when you're in the moment, you realize how devastating of time, investment, of energy, you can't get that moment back. Yeah. yeah. And everything has been canceled. Every single excursion that you planned was done for mm -hmm. and you have taped i have carried a backpack and cameras around alaska through the forest on these trips and it the energy that is required you have taped for eight days 
and you realize I have nothing to show mm -hmm. for it. So it was devastating. We went back to the, the, to room. the room and I had to let my frustration out on you at not in like a, a mean way fault. to you. Yeah. I said, I just need you to listen and I need you to understand how horrible of a situation this is. Mm -hmm. This We have nothing. And I was very frustrated. Yes, you were. Um, our cousin who works with kids a lot, I overheard her talking to her kids. And it actually really helped me because she told them, she's look, a counselor. we're going to be upset. We're going to deal with it and we're going to move on. So and we're just going to... She's a counselor at our school and she's really good for kids. She's a counselor. Yes, she's excellent. And I... It helped me take the same approach with you guys. We're just going to deal with it deal and we're going to move we're gonna on. We're going to have our moment to be upset and cry and do whatever you want. And, and we then did. we're going to move and on. And I said... Whatever I wanted to. <laughs> she she did. did. We let she Ava let it out. And, and she surprised us with her vocabulary. <laughs> if you watch our video, you will hear the vocabulary. police Vocabulary. Yeah. So we were upset. So this is the thing. There was absolutely nothing left via the to purchase via the ship. No excursions. I mean, you're you're basically you are at the mercy of local people who have set up on the dock and you're trying to flag down someone who still has enough. We had eight people. So eight we needed people. someone that would have enough room for eight to be able to do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this local guy gets on the radio and he offers us a money back guarantee whale watching tour. If you don't see one, you're to see whales. Guaranteed, guaranteed to see whales. Guaranteed. And he's never had to give money back. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was very kind. He searched a couple of things, found this one local chartered ship, um, ship boat. boat. And here's our big recommendation for the families out there. If you ever do anything like this, stick to the local people because these people knew their stuff. They were very happy to have you. They were excited about Alaska in their town. They were like people that just were working there for the summer, college kids, mm -hmm. and just were very passionate about this. Mm -hmm. And we happened to get on the right boat at the right, right time. At the right time at, in the right situation mm -hmm. because we ended up seeing one of the most rare whale feedings that you could possibly see in that area. 2%. 2% of the boat. Of 1 the, 50th. One, <laughs> thank you. 1 50th. 1 50th of the tours actually get to see what we saw. And it ended up go. It ended up making us go, hey, this is kind of like a divine the workout. Lord, the intervention. Lord provided. Intervention. The Lord, the Lord knows, provided. The he knew Lord. we needed something and he provided. The Lord knows what he's doing. <laughs> he literally mm -hmm. put those clouds in the sky and was like, there's something I want you guys to go on. Yeah. And, and I want you guys to see this because you guys are hardworking people. <laughs> well, he just and had mercy on us because we're we're doing all right. <laughs> we're trying we our were hard devastated to, that our other no, You're hardworking Texans and I love no, you. So I'm going to... No, because he loves us. That's, that's right, right, baby. That's, that's right. right. Listen, we it ended up being something you couldn't plan. We got on this boat and we went out there and they had this tool that they would stick down in the water and you could hear... It's like a vibraphone. You could hear something called bubble net feeding. And bubble net feeding is where all of these types of whale get together. That one. That one makes that noise. One, it's one like a football whale. It's like a football Explain team. It. The leader... So he said, y'all don't even realize how rare this is. He said, because there, there has to be the, the group of whales together that have been trained by this one whale to do this. And there's only... So there is a leader whale and they go down and they, they tell the other, the other whales how you know, they're stirring up the fish and she signals and she gets oh, to come up. And you start to see birds. He, yeah. circle around because it because they, they know see, what's about to happen. They, they're, what they're doing underneath the water is stirring up the herring. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Like red herring. Yeah. And then they come onto the top of the water, but we can't see it, but the birds can. So they start to come down and try to feed. And you know that the whales are about to come up, but also that microphone that's in the water, she will signal in about what, you can hear it. 15 seconds later, you see them, they come up and they get all the food. They, and they jump straight up. 
So there's and they all, open their mouth. Yes, and yeah. they get all the food, but it's this leader and another one that gets to come up first. And then the worker whales that have stirred it up, they get to come up after that. And you see all of this happen, and then they go down. That's and they why start there's doing, only two that I see first. They start doing it all again. And the birds get the leftovers. That's But he they're... said that it has to be this group of whales that have been trained mm-hmm. by this female. It was so it's just, they have to be in the same area at the same time because everybody, the migration of all the whales is different. So he said, this is just yeah. a There's only very about rare they experience. Right next to our boat. It's phenomenal how rare this is. Yes. In the world, there's only about 10 females who know how to do this. Only about 10. 10. 10 females. What? And then after, the, this is what you don't realize, after it, when they spray, what does the air smell like? Mucus. Rotten broccoli. It smells like rotten broccoli. <laughs> it was nasty. It was nasty. <laughs> it had a very definite stinky odor. It's mucus. When they, it's mucus. Psh, yeah. And he said it's mucus that comes out of their blowhole. He said, uh, close your mouths. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we we did. We had a, There was a silver lining on that day where we had our, our it expectation It kept happening crush. too. But so it happened in the distance and then they got closer. To and us. then they got closer. And there was like four times that we got to see this event happen. So yeah. it was. It was great. It, it was great. It really helped the whole experience. We went back a little more satisfied than we Mm -hmm. would have. But it was local and the people knew it and they were very kind and it made me, it made me rethink sort of trip planning. Like it, we expected this cruise ship to provide all of the experiences and there's local people. The best things that we've done on Awesome Amazing America was like Captain... Captain Jay from yeah. Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach. He knew his thing. Like he knew Who's where Captain to take Jay? us. You know we Captain went on Jay. The, sh- the boat and we had on the oh, gear. Yeah, we I were... like Captain Jay and his dog. The yeah. local stuff, the less touristy Liberty. type stuff is is the best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I loved his dog Liberty. Yeah. If I could do it over and I'm not going to. If you guys want to go to Alaska. I would do it without your children. Full circle. <laughs> Full circle. I would not recommend taking young children on the Alaskan cruise. No, now, you can see all of this that we're talking about on our episode of Awesome Amazing Alaska. On K-City. The disaster. Yeah, on K-City. It's awesome, up right now. Awesome Amazing Disaster. If you're watching this, it's up right now. Yeah. And you can see how beautiful and how fun it seems because we laugh a lot. Like reviewing the footage and editing this together, uh, we, I, I'm showing the highlight reel. Yeah. So it's a 15 minute highlight reel of a of a mm, seven day cruise. By comparison, our five day Disney cruise got three episodes. This Alaska cruise got one, and I struggled to find enough footage. <laughs> what, what do you want to tell people about? I would about? just, if you, if you take your family and you take your kids, just be very flexible. Do not have it in your head that because we have this booked, this is happening. And just be willing to kind of roll with the flow and make changes and be sure that you have plenty of of entertainment options for your children if yeah. the weather is yucky. I and do so, dis- I would um, do Disney. So Alaska. Uh, maybe so. When yeah. we went to the cafe, um I had so many sweets. Because that day. it's geared because it's geared um, towards so, kids. kids yeah. Yes. I had so many sweets one day and then mom <sighs> said, You're not getting any sweets at dinner. And then at dinner I um I was like after I ate all my food, I was like and then she was like, you know what? This is a cruise. Just go get whatever you want. And I was like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> we will remember this trip very differently because of the episode that I cut together. Yeah. If you want the real story, you've heard it here. You've heard it here. This is the truth about that podcast. I would do Disney Cruise, I would do it in a warm climate, and I would uh, go to Castaway K again. I bet a Royal Caribbean and the Caribbean would be completely different. Ooh, Icon of the Seas. You talking, but... you talking about what I like. <laughs> Ooh, Icon get, of the get Seas. Get in a warm climate. But, but we, at, um, on the last day we were there, so this magazine came in. It was like the new version the Icon of, of the, the uh, thing. And in the room, so uh, mom packed like two suitcases um, in full stuff. So we uh, it was overweight. So we had to pay a couple hundred dollars more. And then like... Um, yes, that is another thing. Do not assume that they will be kind to you because you're a pound or two over. 
I asked the lady, I said, I didn't, we're going on a cruise. I didn't want to have all the extra luggage. She said, honey, it's better to have an extra, <laughs> an extra suitcase than pay. It was a hundred dollars for two pounds over. Thank mm. you, American Airlines. Okay. And then, so, um, and so, um, uh, and then the next room, it's so much bigger. It's got like loads of books and it's got a slide in the room. What Ava's talking about is on the last day, they put a flyer on our bed for their Icon top of, of the line cruise. Icon of the and seas. And we walked into the cruise, we walked into the room and said, what, it, this is this is what we wanted. <laughs> this is the trip we wanted to go. What is this? And then I, I, so I actually started looking. I those actually started punks, looking. I know. Those punks sent you on the most horrible cruise <laughs> and they put a flyer in your room and said, I know. would you like to go on another one? Yeah. <laughs> Only if you're paying a Royal Caribbean. And then so we were, and it's got like 10,000 slides on it and it's like so much bigger than the Titanic. It is the icon of this is the new one. They were promoting their new one, which yes. I think just had their maiden voyage, which I do not want to be on their maiden voyage. You guys be the <laughs> guinea pigs. You see if it floats. It act In 10 days. It leaves in 10 days. Y'all, out of they Miami. can see if it floats. I don't want no part of that <laughs> until it's made a few trips. And I do not want to be Work out the kinks, a huh? part of history of the biggest cruise ship <laughs> where a hundred years from now, someone's diving that thing and seeing me like clutching my, <laughs> I don't want to be at the bottom of an ocean. So they I can do it. that. Okay. Yeah. Give me $10,000, please. Nope. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of awesome. Well, this is an episode of the KC family show talking about awesome, awesome. amazing awesome, America. Amazing. The Disaster. full library of those videos is available on our channels, go watch them. I still, I think that they're some of the most fun things we've done. The Alaska video is great. Our Grand Canyon is one of my favorite episodes ever. That was and, a good trip. Uh, mm -hmm. Texas State Fair, that's all season yeah. two. It's all we could get done. All we could get done this year. Hey, and you know what? Comment below where you think we should go next. Ah, mm, for yeah. If anywhere. For the season opener of. <laughs> what you be like? Yeah. What you be Everyone like? A bunch of comments like, put it to save rest, guys. Save a new Royal Caribbean cruise. Can I say, everyone say that so we can go on it. Where? Nothing. She's saying. Nothing. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the K-City Family Show. Hey, it, on your, this would help us out a lot. If you would, on your preferred podcast app, give us a good rating. That helps discoverability. Tells more people about mm -hmm. us. Yeah, I think I think we're we're a pretty good rating. I think I would give us. I would give us five stars. Four it's point a lot eight. Of fun. I would I'm give having us a lot of fun uh, with this. Four point nine. Okay. Four point nine. Thanks, okay. All right, guys. Everybody, say bye. Bye. We'll see you next time. Guys, right up here. If you want to watch more episodes of the K City Family Show, you got links right here. Down here, it tells you where to listen on your favorite podcasting app. We'll see you next time.